Hi guys, so today we're going to learn how to share our screen and also the audio from our computer in Crowdcast. Uh, so we're going to do this on Mac OS and this will give you the ability to share any audio that's happening from your computer but not your microphone. That's a little bit more advanced. This is the simplest way to get a video that's playing on your computer into Crowdcast. So we're going to use a piece of software called Black Hole which I'll post a link for in the uh, YouTube link and this is a free piece of software that basically allows you to send audio from any place in your computer to this little virtual device and then also take audio from this virtual device and rebroadcast it in something like Crowdcast or anywhere else you need to put audio. So you're going to go to this website and click download installer and after you click that you'll enter your email address and it'll send you a link to download a package. Um, after you install that then you're going to go to your audio MIDI settings. So you can do this either by using Spotlight and hitting Command Space and then typing Audio MIDI. Or uh, if you aren't comfortable with that, you can go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, Audio MIDI Setup. Um, your, this window showing the audio devices should come up, but if it doesn't, then you can go to Window, Show Audio Devices. And inside this, as long as you installed Black Hole correctly, you should see a thing that says Black Hole 16 channel. So that means that device is working and that we're able to capture audio any, from anything in our computer. But if we send audio to just Black Hole, then we're not going to be able to hear it out of our speakers or our headphones or wherever we're also listening. So what we want to do is create what's called a multi-output device. And to do that, we click this little plus icon, click Create Multi-Output Device, and then you'll see a list of all the audio devices your computer has that show up right here. So if you want to be able to hear on your speakers and also black hole, which takes you anywhere in the computer, um, then it's really important first to select the speakers. So that's set up as the master device. And then click black hole. And now what we have is a device that allows us to hear any audio playing through both our speakers and also black hole. So next, we have to tell our system to send audio to that new multi-output device. So the way we do that is we hover over the volume icon up in the top right and just make sure multi-output device is selected. Okay, outside of that, we are now ready to send audio to Crowdcast. So I have a little Crowdcast test set up here. And right now I've got my microphone set up as my default microphone. But what I'm going to do is change my camera, go to change camera and mic and change my microphone to the black hole audio. Now when I do that, you're no longer going to be able to hear me talking, but you'll hear anything coming from my system. So I'm going to do that real quick. So now that's set up as black hole. And I'll just show you, I'm going to play back a clip of a video and you'll see that the audio is coming right into black hole. So you'll see now this bar goes up, I've got a nice little test. Um, and the next step now is just getting video in. Now there's a handful of ways to get video into the uh, Crowdcast system, but the easiest way to do a video playback is using their built-in screen share. So we're going to go up here and click share screen. And rather than sharing our entire screen, we're going to share our application. Now this application can be PowerPoint or Keynote, or I'm just using a video player called VLC, but it can be really anything you want. So I'm going to share that application, and you'll see now the application pops up in focus and also shows up on the Crowdcast system. So now I can go and play back my video and focus that video. And in Crowdcast, we have now both audio and video coming through. And that's about it. Um, there are obviously a couple disadvantages to doing things this way. Um, basically, one, you have no ability to crop out things like this title bar um, or just overall optimize what the view of this looks like. Um, you also can't mix your microphone audio in with the um, audio coming from your computer in a clean way. Um, and there's just a handful of other things that, that you can't do using this system. So if you want to have more control, 
you can do what's called a virtual webcam in Crowdcast and use open broadcaster software, which I will cover in another tutorial. But for now, if you're just looking for a simple way to play back video using Keynote, PowerPoint, VLC, any of that stuff, and share the audio, that's the way to do it. Hopefully that was helpful. Feel free to post any comments or questions below, and I will try to answer the best I can. Thank you.